Hello, my name's Log, and in this episode I'm going to go through building your own custom roundabout. Before that I'll go through expanding this area quickly and let you see that as it expands, and I'll return to you when I'm ready to build the roundabout. Hello, my name's Log, and welcome to my playthrough of City Skylines, uh, where I'll be focusing more on the specialized industries, but to get started you need population. Since the last episode I've just filled out a little bit of an area down here so that I can continue to grow the residential we need. And it's led to a point where I think it's time for us to improve this junction here, which isn't suffering too badly from traffic. And with this new extended four-lane road here, it's not actually a highway, but it's quite a big road. We're coming to the end here, and I think this will be a major traffic area in the future, especially if this is where we choose to build a river crossing of some sort, because we own the land on this side, or we have permission to build that side. So we're going to need to think about making a couple of river crossings at some point. And before you build too much stuff, it's easier to put in infrastructure. So to start with, let's try and sort something out at this end. So I don't think it's very sensible to have this arrangement currently. We have a bit of money set aside, so hopefully it'll be enough. Let's take out what we've got and switch to making it so that people can get in and out of this town sensibly. Now this is our main through road, so it makes sense to have that as a connection. So if we go into here, we can select whoop, the regular road I'm not sure I haven't used a median road before let's do that so if we build out from here and then choose to go up which we do by pushing page up and page down on this you can sort of see how you'd build some sort of slope now I can't build a slope that high so let's try making that shorter and page down. Again, still too close to this for me to get up, unfortunately. And I guess the same is true if I try and go underground, that it will clip into there. Oh, no, it won't go under or over this because I, despite my planning, I've built this too close, basically. So now we have to think about how we can solve that because this road, if anything, is going to get thicker and busier. So, let's see. At some point you just have to break stuff, don't you, unfortunately. So let's remove this end section and remove this section. With pause so stuff won't immediately be destroyed. Let's start with a raised road. I think this will be... Uh, where do I need to build it? Here? Doesn't like going across that at that height, so maybe I need to go up both steps. And then that would allow us to build over this section, so that's what I think we should do. 
That's two squares over, so let's make sure we build it two squares over so just for symmetry's sake. And then we want to bring this down to ground level as soon as we can on this side, which might mean having us take it quite a long way out. Yep. So I should have left more space at the beginning. All the way down, as far out as we need it. Maybe a little bit more just to take the edge off the slope. Now we're on the flat so we can connect up the road to the existing ones at either end. Now this has bridged the traffic between these two areas again without interrupting this, but now we have no way in and out of our city. So let's start by just fixing the roads we took out. So can I bring this road under here now? No. It's in a road, was it? So I can't build this underneath, but I could keep this industry here by building a little road to service it. I can build something similar the other side. That would allow me to bring traffic around here. Now, really, I need traffic to come into this side, so this may be a time to start using one-way roads. I could use an industry road, but for now I'll use a standard road both sides. So let's build that across there and then around here and in, come down to here and then allow the traffic to spread out to this area. Similarly from this side we want traffic to come into there. Let's do this. If you ever place a one-way road and you want it the other way around, go to this upgrade tool and then when you're hovering over it you can right click on a road to change its direction. Let's do that here so that this becomes an in-road for both of these and then that should service that road connection there quite happily and when things get to here they can spread out and go around and we can get traffic in here and at the moment if they want to the only option they have is to go over into the other section to use the other way in or out. We can improve in a minute. Here we can build all the way underneath. I've left enough room for that road to go through. A little bit surprised that road won't work, but... So now, industry traffic that wants to get to the industry and come down here, it can turn in and get into here. Traffic that wants to get to our residential will also have to come this way at the moment and go in. So it seems sensible that we should make some other way for traffic to get in and out of this area. So for the top end this is probably okay, but I want to build a bigger junction down here. This to me seems like the perfect area for us to build a roundabout. Which is one of the great things about City Skylines is building your own roundabouts. Now the game does come with some roundabouts and we could think about trying to fit one of these in. You hold down the right mouse button, you can spin them to see if we land somewhere. So we could try reusing this roundabout would sort of work and sort of give us the, what we want. We can also make our own roundabouts reasonably easily and then you can customise the size. Let's show you how to do that. Start off usually with a gravel lane road. I want it lined up with the middle of these two. Um, so you can eyeball that in usually because you can see it's on that snapping line there. So I think that would be the middle. We can carry on down. If you want it exactly in the middle, you can bridge across and then sometimes it'll let you have a snap point here. And then you need to think how large you want your roundabout to be. And roundabouts need to be surprisingly large to work with tr quick traffic. So let's start as far back as we can. Let's go one square that way and then another one. This gives us a cross in the middle. And then we know we need to come a square out in this direction and a square out in this direction if we want a round roundabout. Lots of people refer to this as bracing of the roundabout. Now we want to make it a one-way road and we want it to go the right way round for the map you're on. So for me that is clockwise. Uh, if you're driving on the other side of your map you need it to go counterclockwise. So the easiest thing is to go to curved road, start at the end of your roundabout come out to where you need it to be and then go to your next one and that'll give you a nice sharp 
90 degree turn. And then you come out from your roundabout again. And then go in, you get another 90 degree turn. And repeat. If you've got roads nearby, it's best to get rid of them if you can. Things really go strange if you don't. Like here, this road is causing me to click when I don't want to. I want to be on that snap point. Oops. Click twice. And pause so that I can go back. That's the snap point I want. And there, I've now completed a roundabout. So I have a node at every 90 degrees and it fills in with automatic nodes in between. That won't be ideal for connecting this up, and I probably need to take this back a bit because you probably want to sweep on and sweep off a little. Let's take those back. For roundabouts, when you add and remove, you either want to put these back in or leave your bracing in whilst you're building because if you take this out, when you connect new roads in, it jumps all over the place and gets horrible. Let's leave them there. Let's connect in the roads we think we need. So I think I can redo this end bit. Better suit having a roundabout connection there. I will just bring that straight out. And then from there, curve into that one. And this will be a minor road junction, so let's go... You don't want junctions near to junctions, really, especially if it's going to be busy, so let's put it... Maybe I don't need one. Try for one there. I think that'll be okay. Now for these roads, um, I was using the four-lane one-way road, which is along here somewhere, and I might want to think about the number of lanes I've got on my roundabout because it changes the lane mathematics. You can see here because there's a right-hand turn, there's a shared lane and an exit lane, and if these are going to be four lane roads that might be a bit much I might reduce them to two lane roads and then connect them to the roundabout if I can let's start from about there go in that to being the right around a slightly ugly angle but maybe it'll be okay. I suppose if I do that. Now I've started. There's probably a snapping point there. Yes. So now that I've placed a road there there's a, a node added. So I can bring this road in in a more natural way. This one coming out it might be a bit easier he says and it's not going to be. But let's add the node in. Delete. I can now use that node, I hope, to sweep out this way, then you'll get a sweep out. Now because this is a three lane road coming in and a three lane road going out, I probably want the roundabout to be at least three roads, so let's upgrade the wrong way if I can, just to have it all three lane. Now you'll see that you get a dedicated lane for carrying on, two lanes for going off, one dedicated for going off. That helps with the traffic bathing later on. So the other thing I want to do is have a major road to be a bridge. I don't think I can afford a huge bridge yet. But let's say I'm going to use that as my bridge connection because that seems reasonable. And I will put that just straight on the end there and then I will deal with making a bridge. To make a bridge, all you do is drag it across when you've got enough money and you can select different types of bridges and things later, but that shows that if I had the money, I could build a bridge off that, so that's what I want. And then let's assume I need another quite big road on this side, so let's go for a four-lane road off of this side, just to be hanging off there. Now that deals with all the connections I probably want on this roundabout. I think it's now safe for me to remove 
this bracing and you'll notice that my roundabout is still reasonably round. And having got rid of that bracing, this section is probably less fussy now. So if I want, I can upgrade the number of lanes here to make the roundabout consistent all the way around. But equally with a big roundabout, sometimes you have a lane that does go off completely, so I may leave that because that's going to encourage this lane to remain as a dedicated exit and this lane to remain as a dedicated onwards and this one as a shared. What I mean by that is if I wanted and if I had a single lane, I don't have a single lane road. If I had a single lane one way road and put that to single, because this is a three, that's a one and that's a three, you'd probably end up with only one lane coming into here somehow. The traffic would naturally divvy itself up. Anyway, I've now got it, so now there's a way in. If people want to get into the bottom end of the city, they go round the roundabout and in. These are all quite big roads, so they should get in and out quite well. If they want to get to the industrial section, they can get on and off here quite quickly. I think for the moment that'll do, and it'll avoid this traffic becoming a problem with this highway. I've also left enough room that I can actually upgrade this to a highway down to here, at which point this roundabout will need changed completely anyway, to probably make it a highway roundabout then that would become a highway going across there. Whether we'd want to carry on a highway from it around here as well, possibly. But I'm trying to leave enough space to allow for that. That's a big road junction related one for you. And I've made someone unhappy still. He's going to just dezone if he's not. Oh no, he's at the station. Oh dear, I'm going to have to move him because I placed him badly. Unfortunately, when you move stuff, it's quite often as expensive as building it again, so that was an expensive mistake I made. So I can put him there, and then that's pretty much the same. And if I zone this, then regular industry will be quite happy to live on this section. So, that was in preparation for expanding this, and we can see our electricity consumption's down, so now I need to go into here and consider bumping up my budget to 100%. And for me, when I reach 100%, that's when I know I probably need to build more power. So I left that last 10% as a bit of a buffer, because you should see now that I've got a tiny bit more power than I need, but I need another source of power. That means either I need to save up for a coal plant, there would be more pollution, I don't have any other options, or I can think about whether I can place some more wind turbines somewhere and have I got anywhere suitable for that. Well, looking at this, um, this is going to be a high traffic area. It's going to be noisy anyway. So I think putting a wind turbine in there would be okay. And sometimes you'd put something like that in the middle of a roundabout. Makes it look fancy. And I'm lucky it's just bridged the power across, so that's got me some more power. Um, so that'll keep me going for a little while longer. And I think it makes the roundabout look quite striking. A lot of this game's about cosmetics, so... I consider these things when you're putting stuff in. The only other thing I did was put in this high school equivalent, so that we can keep levelling people up. And for the last bit of this episode, I'll zone in a bit more residential in this area. And I'll consider whether I want a little area of commercial down the front, maybe you could make a little recreational bit, it's by the sea on a bend, you know, you might have a few restaurants overlooking and stuff, and then you don't want to get too close to this roundabout, because if this is a busy road, it will be noisy no matter what you do. So I may end my residential roundabout here, keep them set back a little bit, perhaps allow them to be on this section, uh, fill in this block, makes sense to have all of it done. And then I will put narrow residential here and I will allow commercial on that front section. If it's here I'll fill in this with residential and that'll be about the last residential I think I could safely fit in here. As I said I'll do a little bit of commercial along here, see if someone comes up with something to do. And I'll fill in these bits with commercial as well. Okay, we won't satisfy a lot of demand, but it'll fill in a little bit. I 
can see one more disconnected thing. An abandoned pharmacy. Okay, well, that was abandoned for not having enough educated workers. So this is a building that obviously needed people with an education and didn't get them. Unfortunately, that's just something you have to deal with. If you leave these buildings, they will um, eventually be reused and pulled down. They do cause a small um, reduction in the beauty of an area, I think, and the value of the area. But, so you can demolish them if you want actively, or you can leave them and then they'll regenerate when opportunity comes. So, that's probably it for this episode. As you can see, nice, loud, windy turbine. Lots of loud highways that are coming through here, so the people living on this area and in here are probably going to complain if we can't do anything about that later, but that's okay for now. In our various other overlays, we can see we have enough power, we have enough water, and it's covering everyone. Uh, garbage is reaching down to here from that one landfill we've got. Landfills do have quite a good reach. Healthcare, our one uh, GP, doctor surgery, medical clinic, there we go is the word, is reaching down here just, but we'll need to think about upgrading our healthcare when we expand to this area. The fire coverage is reasonable. It's getting a bit tenuous down at this end, but I expect when we expand here, we'll put another fire station in over at this side, which will fill across. Police coverage isn't brilliant down this end, but most of the commercials up there. If this commercial area gets built up, then a police station somewhere like this be good, but equally, uh, if we're building over this side, then building in that side will be good for, for that too. Education's doing okay for high schools. That's covering an large area. High schools cover larger areas, have a bigger catchment. I put in a second elementary here, and our elementary is reasonable, and we're slowly educating our population. University isn't doing anything, and the public library we put in earlier is covering this area well, and providing a boost to the high school and two elementaries that we have. Parks coverage, okay in most of the city, um, so I think we've got all the basics covered for this. All we need to do now is let this simulate for a bit and then consider upgrading and expanding once more. Hopefully our industry will get up a lot more and we'll be able to expand the specialised industry area next time. So you can see, just as I was ending the episode, we've managed to hit Boomtown, another population milestone, which brings in public transport. So as well as touching on industry soon, we can start to introduce some public transport to our city, which will provide a great buff to everything. So I'll cover one or both of those things in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this episode, please give it a like, thumbs up. If you would like to make a comment on anything, see anything different in the episodes, make sure to post a comment down below. And if you are enjoying this and want to follow the channel, that would be great. If you tick the bell icon to get notifications or subscribe, then you'll find out when I do new episodes.